Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of relating fractions and decimals. This is standard 4.2G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 28 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to find the decimal that is equivalent to 170 over 100, or 170 hundredths. That is an improper fraction. We have a larger number in the denominator than we do, or in the numerator than we do the denominator. So let's draw 170 hundredths. Okay, so if I wanted to draw, you know what, I'm going to need to make my grid size a little bit smaller probably. Yeah, that's a little bit too small. Let's go, let's do a 10 by 10 grid. Let's see what we can get here. I'm going to make a 10 by 10 grid. So I'm going to use the connect line feature. And I'm going to just connect over 10 lines. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, let's go down 10. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so this is my 10 by 10. This is a represents, you know, a 100, right? And so if I wanted to shade this in, right, I could shade in this whole thing. That's going to be 10, 20, 30, right, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, so this is 100 one hundredths, or this is just one whole, right? Didn't I just draw a big square and shade in the whole thing? That is equal to one whole. I've used 100 hundredths. Now I need to get an extra 70 hundredths. So let's do another 10 by 10. All right, let's see how much we have here. Let's see if we've got enough. Uh, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I have enough. If I connect them together, that's fine. Now, this second one is only going to have 70, right? So I'm just going to do seven sets. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, okay, there's my 70. So there's my 70 hundredths. Now, I didn't shade in the whole thing, so I can't do a whole other one, but I can do 70 hundredths, right? Since I was doing hundredths, right? Here's my tenths place. There's my hundredths place right there. Okay, so then if I put those two together, right, I would get 1 and 70 hundredths. Now, that's one way to solve it. Here is another way to solve it. So let's say I want to just make a place value chart, okay? So I'm going to make a place value chart, and it goes to the hundredths, so I'll go to the hundredths. I'm going to write the values underneath each one. That's my ones. That's my tenths. That's my hundredths. Now, when I write 170, what I know is that I want my last digit, right? Uh, since there's no decimal, if there was a decimal up there, that would change things. But since my last digit is a whole number, I want my last digit to go in the hundredths place, right? So what I do is I put my zero right there. And then once I've got that in the hundredths place, I just build the rest of the number one digit for each spot. So that's how you can say 170 hundredths, but really that looks like if we take a look at it, it's a, one is a whole number, you have a seven tenths, but a lot of times we end up dropping that zero. We don't need that because that's really seven tenths, right? We could say this is seven tenths if we look at the tenths all as one big unit. So here we go. My answer here is B, one and seven tenths.